Hello and welcome back to the channel. And today in my quest of ever increasing efficiency on the farm, I'm going to build a waterer. Specifically, a waterer for my uh, chicken tractor. Chicken tractor. That waterer there is super duper annoying and I want to make something more efficient and better and easier to clean. So let's head to the shop and see about doing that. So the watering system is actually going to be fairly simple. It's going to be a bucket held up by a hook and it's going to go into all this kind of crap uh, down into a little hanging bowl for the chickens. It's actually fairly simple, but the reason I have all these quick disconnects is I want to be able to quickly disconnect it and clean this bowl. One of the biggest problems I have out here is that I live on the corner of two dirt roads and it gets dusty as crap. That's another reason I have a lid to put on top so that I can just lift the lid off, shove a hose in there, fill it up, cap it, and that's going to reduce the amount of dust that is in the system. So with that, let's actually get started building this and see how it goes. All right, so for this, gotta make sure that it doesn't leak. Got the bulkhead in, got an adapter in, and some PVC pipe, and then put it up there. So, let's, so we got a little bit of water in here, and we'll see. So far, looks like we're good. And I don't see any leaks here. I think we're probably good. So one thing to figure out is this is going to hang up this so I don't need it to like stick a way foot out I should figure out like hey if it comes out eight inches you know or nine inches then that gives room to hang and be able to fill it up and everything and not have too much leverage down what I'm going to end up doing basically have this board and it's going to hang basically like this and then everything will fall out the end and I just push the hose up to it and we should be good I just have to make a support for it that kind of angles out. I mean, you'll see, we're going to do it. But I think if I do a, so if we're doing a top here, I've got to come out and I want to drill through the top and I'm going to do a 45 here. So I need to add an inch and a half. I want to come out about eight inches. Uh, so I need about nine inches plus an inch and a half. So I need about a 10 and a half inch board. And that should get me out far enough to put the hook that I want to use in there and allow for support. So I think we should be good. So let's get measuring and cutting. You know, now that I think about it, I think I actually want to go ahead and do about 10 inches. I want it to come out eight. I need an inch and a half. So we need about nine inches. So let's do, let's do 11 inches. It can stick out a little further. And I can always put that hook in. That gives you enough meat for the hook to actually go into and just kind of something to base everything on. So we'll use this piece, and so now we want to uh, do a support piece. Really, it's pretty simple. You just do 245s on it, and so let's go ahead and take care of that. Right, here we go. There we go. 
That should work out. Lots of support. Let's get this screwed up. One of the things I like about these screws is generally if you can get down to that shank there, that bare shank, that means you're right there at the end on the other side that you screwed through and you're ready to go. That gives you an idea of how far down to go so that you don't kind of suck it all the way through. So now that I have that, I can put it on here and it's kind of pretty much ready to go. See, so just like that. Need to be able to do this a little better on clamping, but it should be good. There we go, see? It's not exactly straight here. I have a little that, but it doesn't really matter. All right, now we have that piece. I'm a little annoyed that this is cockeyed if you look, but it is what it is, and we'll deal with what we have. See, got that little break in there, but we're not going to worry about it. We're just going to get it done. There we go. All right. Here's what we're going to do. We're just going to flip this over and we can pre-prep this. Stuck out the other side on that one. <coughs> there we go, that's solid. <coughs> there we go, look at that. It's right there, I think we good. This is going to be a little bit to sh hard to show, I'm going to block it, but basically I need to put a hole right there so that, or maybe on the other side, maybe on the other side here, because uh, I need to get air in here, but again, because of all the dirt, 
Uh, I don't I don't want to put a hole in the top and the lid. I want to try to prevent as much as possible. So I need to put a uh, hole somewhere. There we go. Boom. Got a hole in there. So if you see right right here, you got a nice little hole. And then a nice little hole here. We'll see how it goes, but it should allow air, especially since this thing has kind of a spring in here. So it'll hold down and then close itself off. So it should cycle water in through here slowly. And uh, so, yeah, the air hole should be just enough. Hopefully, hopefully it won't get dirty in there. We'll see. We'll just have to take it as we go. Also, this is a half inch connector. So I had to get a half inch to three quarter inch adapter to go onto it so that I can connect it to a hose. There we go. There we go. There we go. There's also a nice little filter in there. Yeah, and the other side is I can take this off because I will connect this to this. So we do here. Check that. And then I want to do. No, I don't want to do that. Did the wrong thing. Do this. So now we do this one. Now I can disconnect this, but I didn't actually want to do that one. I wanted to be able to take this off. So, got to think some of this through a little more here. I got all the components, but I got to figure out more what I want to do specifically. There we go. So we'll do here, get this on here like this, so that we can just, boom. Boom, there we go. In. Now I can just disconnect it. So from there, we just connect this to here. There we have that. There we go. There we go. Boom. And boom. There we go. Do, 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 do. The next thing is connecting on here. Boom. Boom. Connect a hose to that. We're good to go. So then that means on this side we have this. There we go. And I think I'm in trouble here. I don't, I need to go dig out a connector. Should be good to connect this piece on here so that we can actually be able to run it. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go out and kind of check it out. So if we'll disconnect this. Go. The next thing is to trim, cut, connect. The thing I'm concerned about is this thing hanging and swinging. We will see what happens over time. And first though, we gotta loosen this, get it on here.
Okay. There we go. Next thing I need to do is get in there and get that thing out and open up the thing for them. We'll see how it goes. All right. Okay. okay. All right. I think we're good. I think there's going to be some adjustments to take care of on this. I might need to shorten the hose a little or come up with some kind of adjuster thing. I don't know. I have to figure it out. All right. So it's been a couple of days since I have built this and I wanna go over a couple of the changes. Then I wanna walk you through everything on the watering system. And I wanna get inside and take a look at a few things uh, as soon as the chickens are done drinking because kind of ran out of water for a little bit as I was adjusting things. So. First, you might notice that I changed out the lid. This is a change to a screw top lid. Um, it's not as simple as I was hoping it would be. And I mean, we'll see how it goes. It had the, the blue cap on top, which is kind of hard to open and close. Uh, I think this will be better. I do have an alternate option. Let me show that to you. That is this paint can um, that you could use for a five gallon bucket. It has this little cap on it. And I was thinking, you know, you can maybe pull that out pull the cap off, shove the hose in there, fill it up. It's something that I want to try, um, but we'll see We'll see how well it works out uh, at some point. I mean, I'm gonna try this first. This seems like it might work good. Uh, but again, the whole thing is I want it to be clean and easy to maintain and actually do stuff. So that's kind of the major change that happened. I also shortened the hose that is on down at the bottom uh, so that you get a little more height so it doesn't get as dirty inside of uh, the water. Um, and then those are the really the two big changes that I went through. Uh, this is on a cant. I'm kind of playing with it um, about what side of this uh, thing to hold on. Uh, try that too. Uh, I don't know. Still messing with it. Still trying to figure it out. Um, I don't expect this to last forever. Um, this is not going to be a year over year over year over year. Uh, water that's actually going to work out. I think this is going to be a, a seasonal thing. It's only going to be used for about eight weeks if I'm doing these or four to five weeks if I'm doing uh, the uh, Cornish cross. So temporary solution for temporary use of chicken. So uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to play with it some more and this gives me good testing for a bigger watering system uh, that I want to use for my laying hens. So with that in mind, Let's actually take a look at what it's doing and all together uh, so you can kind of get a sense of what it is. So kind of to point out, I have a bulkhead um, and I'll link to this on Amazon uh, that actually protrudes through the five gallon bucket, goes into a PVC pipe and then into a coupler that converts PVC over to a normal hose. From here, I have a quick disconnect adapter and then into a regular end hose fitting. And that works out really, really well for being able to create a dis quick disconnect to convert from going through the thing in our. So all I have to do if I just wanted to get water everywhere is pull this down and slide it off and it is disconnected. So very simple system. So I'm gonna have to fight through the chickens here. Basically, see how much I can get through here. So I have this bucket. It kind of wiggles up and down, and I'll take it off here in a second. Uh, but I come out to a hose to a connect that I can disconnect. I can then quick disconnect this off, and so now it's off. Cool, so now we have the bowl, and it's just a simple, I have that connector. I have an adapter from a half inch to three quarter inch here, and we're good to go. The interesting part here is the part inside and stop it of if there's a little shaking it's because my chickens are pecking at the tripod and the camera but anyway so this right here you adjust this and you get the depth of the uh, bowl and how much water you want in the bowl up and down and you just tweak it until you find what you want but yeah so this right here if i do that spits out water so i can just so I can take this and clean it fast if I need to. Uh, here, we'll just connect it back on, open this up, and it's gonna start filling in water. Um, still playing with the level, I trimmed this. Um, another thing I did was this board here, 
Um, I have it coming up. I don't have a support because I don't need it because I mean, it's not holding anything, and then I cut a big notch out in here so this could hang off of it. And, and so far, it's not been too bad letting this just kind of shake and move all around uh, and the chickens kind of move it around. It's not been a big deal. So that is the inside of the system. Uh, fairly simple out there, fairly simple in here. Leave a links to all of this so that you can know what I got and where I got it. And that's the water in a nutshell. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something or at least got a couple useful resources. If you did like this video and got something useful out of it, please give me a thumbs up and show that you appreciate it. It helps the algorithm and helps these videos go a little bit further. I want to thank you for your time watching and I will see you next time in building something. And in the meantime, happy DIYing.